Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we are in Chapter 2 of Variant 7, or Back Issue 7, depending on how you want to say it. And this chapter has different class restrictions. For this chapter, you can only bring in tech and skill. So I'm redoing the team up here. And you're going to see my selection, and I'll talk a little bit about why I chose who I chose. So uh, I don't think I have to tell anybody why I chose Nick Fury. Uh, he is probably my favorite of the uh, skill class. And I don't know where he ranks in, in people's opinions, but for me, he's definitely my favorite. He's at the top. Uh, then you have Warlock who is one of my favorite tech, Ghost, of course, being up there. And he is a beast for this chapter, especially the path. So I'm also bringing in Guardian. You see me bringing in Spider-Man, Stark Enhanced. I'm bringing in more techs, and you're going to see why I chose to do that when we look at the node uh, that we're going to have to deal with. Pay attention to the overclocked node. OK, but all of them are pretty good in their own right. Uh, I was thinking of bringing in Starkey just for fun. I haven't played with him uh, for a long time. I used to bring him uh, with me every Alliance War. And he is who I used to fully explore Labyrinth of Legends. He did every fight that he could. And then I would bring in someone else for the fights that he couldn't do. Um, but he was my heavy hitter in a labyrinth of legends all right so see that overclock node that is on the local node for these paths all right that one doesn't have it all right this one here bleed vulnerability um that looks interesting uh when i go to explore it uh probably will still use warlock and then we have this one here you have that overclocked tech wrath bubble shield and then you have that rising sun so that one looked good to me and so now i'm looking to see who i have to fight and i'm looking up there and i see omega red that's warlock all day every day and i didn't see anyone else that warlock could not fight all right so i said all right let me get a second look just to make sure that power shield is going to be awesome but you don't have to bring warlock you can do this path with anyone that you feel comfortable taking those fights with, okay? That rising sun that we're looking at here is easy to play around. Just fire off heavies. That's it. Don't try to do long combos, fire off heavies. Now, it's a little tricky when you're doing Warlock if you want to fire off a special. You don't need to fire off the special, but I love firing off Warlock special too. But all you need to do is parry heavy warlock puts a bleed on him it's a done deal all right so first fight we are going up against civil warrior he's got a rework but i haven't found him any more difficult to fight to be honest with you all right so i'm parrying here i want to get that infection up i always do that when i'm playing with warlock even though i'm not having to deal with a lot of healing or anything like that and then as you see here parry heavy that's it. Doing this will avoid that rising sun issue. Um, and you're going to see here, you know, I'm not content doing that all the time. I get bored. All right. So I've got this special uh, two sitting here. And I'm like, hmm, what do I do? What do I do? All right. He fired his special two off. Okay. All right. So I want to do it too. All right. But look at this. Boom. Just one special two already put me over and I'm degening. So you can't do that with Warlock. He hits too many times, just can't do it. Um, stick with parry heavy if you're gonna use Warlock. And because of the wrath that's on, uh, I believe it's on this path, um, I did finish it off with a special two though. Uh, you want to continue doing the parry heavies. You'll notice that that bleed bypasses the power shield because power shield says you don't do your normal attacks it's not talking about the bleed damage but your normal attacks don't do any damage 
but your specials do extra damage. All right, so um, you can bring in a tech that can bleed or bring in a tech that has really powerful um, special attacks, but they need to be heroes. All right. Uh, now, I don't like fighting Mordok, uh, Modok. Um, I'd made a video a long time ago on how to fight this guy. And I still don't like fighting him. But I'm, I'm familiar enough with him that I was confident that I wasn't going to uh, lose this fight. So you can see here, uh, I don't want to fire my special two because he has that auto block up. And then he catches my toe. I can evade his special one all day long, except when I can't. Okay, so second fight in, Warlock is just above half of his health. But I said, you know what? I got another plan. Special three. All right, we evaded that special, no problem. Fired off the heavy, and now we're going to get him with that extra damage. Look at the damage that it's doing. So... Um, there's no reason for you to fire off a special uh, two. You can uh, finish it off with a special two if you want to, but very easy, fire off a special three. That power shield is beautiful. So that's why I feel that this path is the easy path to take for your initial clear. Uh, so just bring in some good counters uh, for the opponents that you're gonna face on this path. And uh, I'm trying to think who else is good for uh, this mode up. Um, Blade. Blade. Uh, I can't remember. I think Blade is also a hero, is he not? Not sure. Um, but Blade could do this. Pretty much any hero, tech, or skill can do this path. You might not get all the extra damage if you bring in, uh, I think, a skill. Um, but they can all do it. Just have powerful uh, attacks, uh, special attacks. Yeah, Tech Wrath. Um, now, I I'm refreshing my memory here uh, because I'm going to go into this one with someone I haven't played in a very long time. Outside of the arena, it has been a long time. But I kind of remember... You know, you want to build up his poise charges. All right, so that's why you see me evading here. I'm up to four poise, five poise, six. Uh, max is 10. I don't want to get trapped in the corner, which is why I fought my way out of it. Uh, she's attacking a little bit irregularly, and then I waited too long there, but I got out of it. All right, reset, boom, because I need to fire that heavy off, and that makes her a little tricky because Rogue shrugs off debuffs faster than normal so you need to get your timing on point if you want to uh fire that heavy off because of the rising sun node and then here we go boom boom look at that damage oh yeah all right so i just need one more of those pretty much um but i can't just keep hitting her like right here we're at 10 and i forgot all about it and i went oh man i started degenning then i got hit and i'm just like okay I'm sorry, Spidey. I messed up. Okay? And so I just said, you know what? We're going to fire this off. Hopefully it'll finish her off. And it does. We got some crits at the end. And we got it done. Not the best out of retirement fight uh, for my Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. But he did win. All right? So I said, all right, that was, that was fun. I'm kind of disappointed in myself for uh, playing so poorly with him but he can do it too okay so just keep that in mind uh you can also uh use a skill champion like nick fury nick fury could do these uh his bleed will bypass the power shield i can also fire off my you know special two if i want to special one special three um it all works it'll all do that extra damage all right now I don't like fighting uh, Mr. Fantastic. I really don't, um, especially because he has that crazy evade every once in a while. Also, you don't normally want to fight um, Mr. Fantastic and throw your specials because if you fire a special, 
uh, all the rest of the fight, <clears throat> your special gets uh, this debuff on it. So it's going to be less effective, period, from the time you do it against Mr. Fantastic. All right? So that, that goes for all your specials. So you combine that with Power Shield, where that's what does the damage, the big boy damage, and you've got an annoying fight on your hands. All right? So I don't want to fire my specials off, but my specials are what gets the extra damage. Fortunately, I can bleed him. I can bleed him out. So that's what you see me doing. It's a longer fight. Uh, and I don't like long fights. Uh, but against Mr. Fantastic, you have to bear that in mind. Now, I could have also come in here with, uh, you know, one of my other champions, like um, Spider-Man Stark Enhanced or uh, Guardian. And we could have finished him off. We could have used our specials and just not used that champion. But I wasn't sure whether I would need any of them later. So I wasn't trying to uh, nerf one of my character's specials uh, when I might need him in a later fight. You know, anything can happen. But we are getting him down. As you can see, the bleed is doing that work. Uh, yes, I do have deep wounds maxed out. So I'm getting extra uh, bleed duration. And uh, this should do it. And down he goes. It was a longer fight, but we didn't fire off any specials. But the way that you do it, based on your roster. This is how you can do it with Warlock. Um, but any of my champions could have done that fight. But I didn't want to fire off specials. And since I'm running suicides, I don't really want to fire a lot of specials off anyway. But that fight could have been over much faster. So, this next fight is interesting, all right? Um, I don't fight Sabretooth often, but I decided to come in here with uh, Nick Fury, and this fight didn't go quite the way I thought it was going to go, all right? So, I'm just like, all right, there we go. Got some heavy attacks in, because we got to worry about that rising sun. Got some bleeds. He's doing some good work so far. All right, we don't have to worry about any uh, timers, so we can uh, just build up to a special two uh, and fire that off, or a special three if we want to fire that off. And uh, so far, so good, okay? And then he clips me there. I hate when the AI does that. Uh, the AI does a quick attack, all right? All the time that you see us fighting, the AI will attack, they'll dash back, Attack, dash back. But every so often, they'll attack and then attack very quickly after the first attack. They'll do like a double attack and they'll slide very quickly across and catch you. Um, very annoying. All right, so I, I built up to a special three and I'm like, okay, um, we should be good. You know, bait out this special one and I get hit with the special one. I'm like, okay. And then I just keep getting hit. And I'm like, okay, now the real Nick Fury is out and I'm still getting hit. I'm like, I'm looking up here. I'm like, uh, is he unblockable? Is that what's going on? I honestly didn't know what happened there. Still don't. Uh, I'm looking back at it, and I know that Sabretooth uh, can go unblockable. So maybe that's what was happening. But I just was getting wrecked. And I, all I was trying to do was block, you know, and, and regain uh, my rhythm of this fight. But... It was insane. And so I'm like, okay, um, I'm almost gone here. And I'm very nervous because I don't know what's happening. You see how I'm dashing all the way back? Because I don't know what's happening here. All right. And so I'm like, all right, here we go. Get that special two off and done. And I'm like, oh, wow. I was not expecting to come out of this fight with the real Nick Fury at 30% health. I was in shock at this point but we got him down still haven't needed a revive uh and as i've said before in a previous video i'm trying to do these itemless so i'm not even healing no revives no health potions just go and see if we can get through this initial clear without using up any items and from what i've seen 
we are going to be able to do that. All right. So uh, Warlock is a great option for Omega Red because he's a robot. Uh, the spores do not build up uh, very, very much. Uh, the only reason to fire off a heavy attack here uh, is because of the Rising Sun uh, node. And of course, that puts a bleed. He's bleed resistant. Um, and he gets his death field so he can get even more spores on you. But Warlock doesn't care about spores. All right. So all you really have to do is um, parry, heavy, um, bait out his specials. Uh, you can see here I'm almost there uh, at 10 Furies. So I did a heavy attack and now I'm firing off my special three. So it's all about managing uh, those Furies. Now, I could, if I want to maximize uh, some damage, uh, keep in mind how many uh, hits your special is and go up to one less than 10 minus how many hits your special does. Stop there. Fire off the uh, special attack and you'll have as many Furies as you can take. Fire the special, you'll still be one off, then land a heavy to reset it. Uh, I don't often do that, but that is how the uh, pros do it, I would say. I'm not a pro. I just want to get the fight done uh, as quickly as possible. And that's why I fired that special two. I figured that the special two would be able to take him out. All right. Even though it would have, you know, got me a lot of furies and I would take the D-Gen. Can't take the D-Gen if he's already down. All right. So we got through that. And uh, now we're on the final boss. Now, this particular Spider-Man, I think, is the coolest looking Spider-Man, personally. Uh, I remember when I read about him in the comics, uh, when he first got that suit, Secret Wars, uh, when he found the symbiote and he didn't know it was uh, sentient. Oh, yeah, that was awesome. All right, so you can see the uh, nose that we're having to deal with here. Honestly, Parry. Heavy, Warlock, he can do it, okay? Nothing that I saw here was going to keep that from um, happening if I used Warlock. The shifting immunity, you want to just bear in mind, but you'll have an icon up when he's immune to bleed. So you can just wait when he's not immune to bleed and he has the poison immunity up, fire your parries and your heavies. So I came in here, like right here, um... I came in with Nick Fury, but I didn't wait. But he's immune right now. So now you see, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. He's immune. All right. So now he's not. All right. So boom. Look at the bleeds. Look at the bleeds. And remember, Nick Fury is hurt. And I forgot about the rising. Uh, was it the rising sun node? Uh, I got happy. I was looking at the bleeds. And I was like, yeah, Nick Fury can do this. Forgot all about counting up my Furies. Forgot all about firing off a heavy attack to reset it. But even messing up like that, look at the damage. So I'm like, okay, I already know that I can get this fight. Let's uh, use up some of my other champions. All right, so um, we got Spidey, Stark Enhanced, you know, out of retirement. And I said, let me, you know, try him a little bit, see what he can do. And again, I'm not used to him anymore, uh, but I'm, I'm still remembering how to, how to play him. All right, you can see here, I'm, I'm my back's against the wall, so I'm like, no, let's get out of there. All right, um, I want to back him away, hit into the block if you need to get distance and you don't want to get those uh, Furies stacking up on you. All right, now here he's dangerous. He's got that spider sense. All right, I want to wait that out. I do not want to try and attack him while he has it up because he'll evade. All right, and here we go. We've got to 10. I intercepted and we're good to go. Let's do this. All right, another one, fire the special two, Hail Mary, and he's down. Didn't even need to bring in Guardian, didn't need to come in with Warlock or anything like that. We were able to get him down um, without too much difficulty. Nick Fury could have done it if I had not messed up and forgot about the node. All right, so that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Hopefully it helps you in your initial clear. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.